It was, I don't know, it was instant. It was just a, a, a natural thing, two people that were, were meant to be together. And I'm looking forward to having, having a teammate. You know, I think that's, that's the key. We're talking about uh, living a healthy life across the board and having someone that supports you and that you can support and, you know, feeling like you really have a, a partner in life is a, is a beautiful thing. You can oh, answer boy. that. Do you, do you have a celebrity nickname? She likes prick. No, 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 absolutely, no. I don't like that Absolutely, no. He DM'd me on Twitter saying, um, I've heard we should connect, and uh, um, I heard we should, I've heard from common friends that we should meet. What do you think about that? And I was like, yeah. wow. Yeah, yes, he's, Wowza. yes, exactly. <laughs> he's a good looking guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and he's just, <laughs> what did I wear on our first date? Blue jeans, white tank top, black leather jacket, hair parted down the middle, and a red lip, of course. Details, babe. Details. <laughs> what was the best gift I've given you? <laughs> Your love. Oh, and that's sweet. Do you want to know what's hot? Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra's love story. That's hot. Hi everyone, I'm Terzel Ron, and this is my first What's Hot video for Talent Recap. If you love The Voice the way we do, you are very excited to see Nick Jonas take over Gwen Stefani's spot as a coach for The Voice. Sadly, that only lasted for one season, and it was the shortest tenure for a coach on The Voice. But even before he was a coach on The Voice, Nick Jonas had found the love of his life in Priyanka Chopra. We're gonna take you on a deep dive all the way from the beginning to now and tell you about their love story. Stay tuned. For those who may not know, Priyanka Chopra was the winner of the Miss World 2000 pageant at the age of 18. She made her Bollywood debut three years later in 2003 with the movie The Hero, Love Story of a Spy. More recently, she starred as Alex Parrish on ABC's show Quantico, which is one of my favorite shows. Whatever he's found on you, the FBI already know about it, right? Wait, are you telling me you think one of these people is a terrorist? I never thought before I could save our country. Do you think I had something to do with this? Because if you do, you I can stop now, Agent Parrish. We know it's you. Now let's get into the love story. Nick and Priyanka's romance started back in 2016 when Nick slid into Priyanka's Twitter DMs and shot her a message. We were told by a mutual friend that we should meet. And uh, he said, I'll connect you guys. He never did. And I got impatient, so I direct messaged her on Twitter. They later rekindled in 2017's Vanity Fair Oscars after party. And when Nick saw Priyanka, he slid down to his knees and said, where have you been all my life? Oscars after party, that's correct. We met at an Oscars after party. Yay! And I got down on one knee and said, where have you been all my life? Later that year, Ralph Lauren invited both Nick and Priyanka to attend the Met Gala in his designs. They revealed on Vogue that their first kiss was at the Peninsula Beverly Hills on Priyanka's balcony. Yes, it was the Peninsula Beverly Hills, my balcony. In May 2018, the couple finally came out as public with their travels to India and flirty Instagram comments. Rumors of the couple being engaged were swirling as they showed off their matching gold wedding bands, but the engagement wasn't confirmed until August of 2018. I really the couple had a very fun time planning a fusion Indian and American wedding. From Amsterdam to India, Priyanka celebrated her bachelorette party on multiple occasions. This included pajama parties and many costume changes. Shortly afterwards, Nick and Priyanka's families headed off to India, where they really meshed both cultures. Well, it was just three days. Um, one Indian ceremony and one Western Christian ceremony. Uh -huh. Usually Indian weddings are like thousand people at least. We had only 200 which was mostly family because both of us, both of us have giant family. Finally, in December 2018, the couple celebrated their union in India with a Christian ceremony on one day and an Indian ceremony on the next. For the first day, she was dressed by American designer Ralph Lauren and on the second, Indian designer Sabyasachi Mukherjee. Now let's get to the fun stuff. When the couple had their honeymoon, they celebrated in the Caribbean, where they enjoyed cold drinks and the view. When Nick Jonas's hit song, Sucker, hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100, he gifted his wife, Priyanka, a Maybach. I guess that's just how rich people do it. My beautiful bride's here. I'm so excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Can I keep on a little kiss cam? Oh, hey, maybe just a little smooch. Maybe just a little. Oh, oh, oh. Mwah! That's their love story in a nutshell. 
But here are some interesting facts you may want to know. The age difference between the two megastars has been a topic of discussion since the start. The 38-year-old Chopra is 11 years older than her 27-year-old husband. 11 years, that's a long time. But it's something Nick Jonas has even joked about in the past on The Voice. I'm a decade older than you. Not but a anyway, decade, I love... maybe a decade. Okay, I'm saying... <laughs> Who's counting? My, my wife's 37, it's cool. Yes, Nick! <laughs> Right. Nick clearly has a type because he revealed that his celebrity crush is Shania Twain, the legendary country music singer who is the highest grossing female country singer of all time and happens to be in her 50s. You can say he has a type. Who is my celebrity crush other than you? There's just the one. There's just the one. Yes! Another hot topic is their height difference. <laughs> Nick Jonas stands at a whopping 5'6", while Priyanka Chopra stands at 5'5". If you've seen pictures where Priyanka appears taller than Nick Jonas, it's probably because of her high heels. One thing that Nick wants you to know for sure is that he is 5'6 and 3 fourths and is indeed taller than Priyanka Chopra. Now, we both know that these two megastars are mega rich. They reportedly bought a mansion for $20 million in California. But who do you think is richer? Priyanka Chopra is set to be worth $50 million, while the Jonas Brothers all together are worth reportedly $115 million. Nick Jonas himself is set to be worth $50 million as well, so they see eye to eye on net worth. The two are also very supportive of one another. Nick Jonas recently launched his brand of tequila, Villa One, and Priyanka adoringly posted a picture on Instagram praising him for his accomplishments at such a young age. For those of you who don't know, Nick Jonas actually launched this line of tequila because of his wife Priyanka Chopra, who loves tequila. Ah, so rough. Don't take it from me, take it from The Rock, who said, Priyanka Chopra loves tequila. Unfortunately, after just a year and a half of marriage, the COVID-19 pandemic hit the world. Luckily for them, they have each other to quarantine with, as well as a new mansion and a new Maybach. In case to his company, they also have their dogs Gino and Diana to spend time with. <laughs> what? What is that? What? What's this? What you? Well, he doesn't have a name yet. They also decided to add one more. That's right, recently, the two became parents again. In August, the actress and musician both shared that they had adopted an adorable puppy, a rescue husky Australian Shepherd mix named Panda. Welcome to the family, Panda Chopra Jonas. Panda now has 43,000 followers on Instagram, so keep up with him to see what tree he barks up next. During the pandemic, the couple has also taken on some special hobbies. Nick has been teaching Priyanka how to play piano, and is her workout and writing partner. It seems that the couple is keeping really busy after their first year of marriage and continuing to stay strong. So, are babies in the future? Well, on Priyanka's to-do list were a house and babies. They already got the house, so I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. Hopefully the two aren't doing too much social distancing during the quarantine. So we're cooking pasta, we made the pasta, and now we're making the sauce. Look at this. Babe, hey, what's your favorite part of making food though? Probably the this fact part? That I, <laughs> the fact that I can't do it, but when I have the chef around teaching me, then it feels like I can. Nice. And when you're around, I feel like it's best because you know I tried. <laughs> We hope to see much more of Nick and Priyanka's love story as it unfolds, and we wish them the happiest of marriages. So that's it for Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra's love story from the beginning all the way to now. If we missed any details, or if you have anything else to contribute to the conversation, let us know in the comments below. Also, let me know how I did on my first What's Hot video for Talent Recap. Check out more of my content in the description below, and while you're at it, hit that subscribe button for Talent Recap. I'm Trizel Ron for Talent Recap, and now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below, and then we can talk.